This is your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, May 21st, 2013. I'm Russ Belleville. California Senate moves to crush medical marijuana profits from the raw story. A bill approved by the California State Senate on Monday would further restrict the state's medical marijuana industry by requiring the end of all for-profit sales of the drug to licensed patients and caregivers. Provisions in SB 439 would also place even greater records-keeping requirements on dispensary owners who would still be entitled to reasonable compensation for their time and efforts. Chris Lindsley, legislative analyst for the Marijuana Policy Project, told Raw Story, quote, Everybody benefits from tighter regulations, end quote. Over 200 municipalities have banned pot shops outright, actions which the California Supreme Court upheld, and on Tuesday, Los Angeles voters will decide on competing initiatives that deal with the same issue. The City Council's favorite initiative, Proposition D, would dramatically shrink the number of dispensaries in the city. Measure F, which dispensary support, would impose higher taxes on dispensary revenues and allow store owners to launch their own industry-wide set of voluntary regulations. If Measure F passes, however... The council still has the ability to completely ban all dispensaries within the city limits. Filner urges jury nullification in medical pot dispensary case from NBC San Diego. San Diego Mayor Bob Filner has injected himself into a federal criminal case against the operator of a medical marijuana dispensary, intensifying his standoff with federal prosecutors on cannabis enforcement issues. Filner's urging jurors who will be chosen for the trial to reject federal law in favor of state statutes under a centuries-old legal concept known as jury nullification whereby jurors can refuse to convict people under laws they believe should not be applied. It's a bold, brash move that's potentially controversial and politically risky for a mayor. Filner spoke after attending a pre-trial, pre-trial hearing for Ronnie Chang, a San Marcos man busted along with more than a dozen marijuana collective and dispensary operators countywide in late 2009. The mayor is calling on Chang's eventual jurors to send a message, quote, It's time, like with Prohibition, to step back and say this was a stupid thing to do, Filner said outside the courthouse. Let's step back and juries ought to take the lead and say that to the federal government. And if the federal government isn't listening to the mayor, maybe they'll listen to the jury. Marijuana users denied high court hearing from the San Francisco gate. Two weeks after the California Supreme Court ruled that cities could bar medical marijuana dispensaries, the U.S. Supreme Court rejected a separate case Monday brought by disabled Californians who claimed the local bans violated federal disability law. The four plaintiffs, all from Orange County, said conventional treatments have failed to relieve their pain. They argued that cutting off their local supply of doctor-approved marijuana denies their right to equal treatment under the Americans with Disabilities Act. The The suit denied Monday was based on language in the 1990 Americans with Disability Act allowing disabled individuals to use otherwise illegal drugs, quote, taken under supervision by a licensed health care professional or other uses authorized, end quote, by federal law. With that provision, the plaintiffs argued the law expressly protected their use of medical marijuana under a doctor's supervision, but the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals read the language differently in May 2012, ruling two to one that it protected only doctor-supervised use that was authorized under federal law. Marijuana waste helps turn pot-eating pigs into tasty pork roast. From Yahoo.com. Susanna Gross, who owns a five-acre farm north of Seattle, is part of a group experimenting with a solution that seems to make the most of marijuana's appetite-enhancing properties, turning weed waste into pig food. Four pigs, whose feed was supplemented with potent plant leavings during the last four months of their lives, ended up 20 to 30 pounds heavier than the half-dozen other pigs from the same litter when they were all sent to slaughter in March. Gross said, quote, They were eating more, as you can imagine. Springfield votes against weakened marijuana penalties from KansasCity.com. Springfield, Missouri's city council has voted again not to lower the penalties for possession of small amounts of marijuana. Last summer, proponents gathered enough signatures to put the issue to a public vote, but council members declined to put it on the November ballot. Instead, the council approved the petition and then repealed it at the first opportunity. In response, the proponent's attorney, Chip Shepard, worked with the city staff and Councilwoman Cindy Rashevsky to draft an amended proposal with a goal of putting it on the August ballot. The council voted 6-2 to not to approve the first proposal, then agreed unanimously not to put the alternative up for a vote. Opponents argued that the decriminalization of marijuana possession should be done by the state, if at all.
This has been your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, May 21st, 2013. I'm Russ Belleville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines to take a look at today's Los Angeles election and Propositions D, E, and F for the regulation of medical marijuana dispensaries in the city. You're listening to the Russ Belvale Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back.